Taurus. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your love reading. Cheers. Now, my darlings, these are general messages. Not everything here is going to resonate with you, but if it does, claim it 100%. I am going to be giving you messages, particularly for love situations, all kinds of different categories. Look for the timestamps below. Take what's yours, leave the rest. It could be for somebody else. Now, the first category I'm going to be doing for you, by the way, Taurus, is what you do not know. This is what could be hidden from you. And trust me, when this energy does come towards you, maybe in the next, I think, maximum of 10 to 15 days, I cannot put a time on it. You'll be prepared because you know you've heard this from me. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Manifest your beautiful life with me. Just trust, be open. Believe and you shall receive. Okay, Taurus, let's go. Spirit, what is hidden from Taurus in love? What is hidden from Taurus in love? What is hidden from Taurus in love? Thank you. And one more. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. This is the south node, which is Ketu, which is the point of releasing. Some of you will have to release something from your past. I don't know what this is talking about. You would know better. And this is about love. This is only about love, okay? This whole reading is purely about love. Don't let your past hold you back. Whether this is your past failed relationships, the past screw-ups that you've had, some recurring cycles, you have to let that go. And you know what that is for you. Work through your fears. This is about Scorpio. This is new moon in Scorpio. You have Scorpio energy and you have Ketu, which is the South Node. Walk, it, it's a walk through your fears. I'm sorry. It's about fears. What fear you have, the reading will tell me when I take my general messages. But there's somebody here who's stuck to the past. They're scared to release it. And you have the energy available to you to get rid of it. And Scorpio is Pluto. It's about death. It's a death card. It's about death and transformation. It's never a literal ending. Don't be scared to end something. You're not ending it. You're not killing it. You are removing parts of it which are dead so that new growth can occur. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius. You have Scorpio. Look at the bigger picture. You're looking at something too closely. You are not able to make a rational decision. This energy is available to you. You have to release something. I want to tell you this. this. This energy is coming up for you, Taurus. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. You have Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio so far. And because the South Node has shown up, find out in your chart where the South Node is. Watch that reading on my channel. Also, by the way, Taurus, if you only know your sun placement, it's it's pointless. You need to find out where your moon is, where your Venus is. Where is your ascendant, your south node, your north node? These are extremely important points in your chart. I want you to find out where they are. Free birth chart calculator, Google. Go to my channel, watch all those readings. You will get all your answers. Don't let pride get in your way. Some of you are holding on to something out of ego and pride. You have to let that go. This energy is coming towards you. This could be hidden from you. This could be hidden from you. Maybe it's just going to you know, show up suddenly where something comes up and you are faced with this, with your fear face to face. Do not allow pride to get in your way. In this message, the signs, I'll repeat them again. You have Scorpio, you have Sagittarius, and you have Leo. Okay, so water and a lot of fire. Now, let's move on to our first category and I'm going to be taking my Lenormans for this. your first General love message, okay, for Taurus. First general love message for Taurus. Let's go, Spirit. Clear guidance for my Taurus, please. For love. For love. For love. Okay. All right. For love. Thank you. So... I have a divine masculine here. This for me is my boy next door. It's a number 28 and it has a letter A if this means anything to you. This is the book. For me, this card always talks about somebody who's very casual. I always feel it's a water sign. Okay. 
uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, somebody who's offering love. See, they're sitting with a rose. Very, you know, not there's another divine masculine in this deck who's very, you know, fiery, hot, passionate, you know, sexy, his bare chested. This person is the exact opposite of that. Now, I have the well. Now, when the well card comes out, it's a lot of water. This person has a lot of emotions for someone. Or the connection that they, they have with somebody is extremely deep. It is also very fruitful or what they thought would, you know, be long term. Because see, when there's a well that is dug somewhere, it always talks about giving water, giving life. Water is life to generations. I don't know if this is somebody who is in a relationship with somebody who is from their past. Um, somebody who feels like home. I don't know why I feel this. Also, I feel it's a very deep connection where there are a lot of emotions. I don't know if there's a divine masculine here who is going through a lot of emotions at this moment. When I have the clouds, what is the confusion about? There is some kind of confusion. Because when the clouds, this is a number six, by the way, when this card comes out, it talks about Pisces and Neptune. Now, Pisces is a 12th house. It's about hidden things. It's about confusion. It's about looking, you know, looking for another perspective because the hanging man is all that. This also could be a very hidden connection, but one that is very deep and emotional. Um, there could also have been a lot of tears here. Now, there is confusion and there is no clarity here. Because see, when Neptune comes in, it's about fog where somebody is either wearing rose-tinted glasses or they're not able to see clearly. So I just wanted to tell you that if you are having some doubts about a connection, just hold on for a bit. Let the clouds clear. Don't take any hasty decisions, okay? And especially if it's a very deep emotional connection. Now I have the book, number 26. You know, I wonder if I'm talking to somebody who could be a researcher, a writer, somebody who does a bookkeeper, that's because the book is right here. I'm telling you all this. This is, again, you have a lot of Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Watch my Pisces readings on my channel. I don't know if this is talking about somebody who's a researcher, a lecturer, somebody who writes books, an author. I do not know. Now, you can apply this to you or to the person you're thinking about, Taurus. This could also be that somebody feels somebody's book is closed. I don't know if they believe they have secrets. Is this a book of secrets? Has somebody learned a lot of lessons? I don't know. There's some mystery here. There is a mystery. And you know, this mystery goes deep. It, I, I don't know if there's something going on for generations. There's a lot of confusion. Two cards of Neptune is divine confusion. Uh, things are not clear. Please wait. You will be shown the way because I have the compass. Don't take a decision till you are shown the way. It's a number 42. This talks about a change of direction and there's a sun between, you know, it's clarity. You are confused right now. I don't know if you're not trusting somebody with clarify these cards. Okay. It's your first general message, Taurus. What is this divine masculine and lovely spirit for Taurus? Yeah. What is the well about, please, for Taurus? Thank you. What's the clouds about, please, spirit? <laughs> what is the book about spirit? Wow. What is the compass about spirit? Wow. Okay. The divine masculine is showing up as a knight of pentacles. Somebody who's very slow. Extremely slow. See, when the knight of pentacles shows up, this is earth energy. Your energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person is very strategic. They are not fast moving. But it's not because they don't want to come in quickly. They are thinking how, when, if, what. I mean, it's a lot of thought going into before they come with this pentacle. But once they come in, my goodness, that pentacle is as good as gold. Now, with the well, I have the king of wands. Now, I have two masculines here. One is a king. One is a knight. I don't know if there's somebody dealing with two men. I don't know if this is a same-sex relationship. The king of wands is fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. Now, when this comes up with emotions, I think there is passion and emotions here. I think there is both. 
or I wonder if there is some kind of a betrayal here. And I'll tell you why. Because with the clouds, the confusion, I have the four of pentacles, somebody holding back. So I wonder if somebody is wondering why they are so slow to come in. There is a lot of passion here, though, because the king of wands is a politician, a good speaker, fiery, charismatic, driven, powerful, arrogant. Remember the card that came out first? Don't let pride get in your way. This is that energy, the lower vibration of this is that. The lower vibration of somebody who's, who allows sex, you know, their swadishtana, the lower vibration of the swadishtana to guide them in love. It's all about sex, passion, heat, lust. I don't know what that is talking about. I wonder if somebody was missing emotions here. And with the clouds, I have the four of pentacles, the miser. Somebody is holding back on information. Please, you do not have all the answers. Hold on. You don't have the answers. Wait for the clarity. Wait for that book to be opened. Somebody's holding back. They have it. See, what I don't like about this energy is that this person is holding a pentacle, standing onto pentacles, has one taped to his head, but they're not giving it to you. They have it, but it's not for you. I don't know what they're holding back on. I have a feeling that they're going slow on their emotions. They're not showing their emotional side to you, Taurus. They have it, by the way. By the way, they have it. But they are giving you a lot of passion and you're confused. There is confusion here. I don't know about what. This person is holding back on emotions, on money, time. I think they're holding back a very important aspect of their life, which is a secret. I don't know what that is. With the book, which is the book of secrets, you know, the book of knowledge, wisdom, lessons, you have the ending. There's going to be a painful ending once this book is opened, whenever Pandora's box is opened, whenever these secrets come out to air, somebody's holding back and they're hoping that it doesn't come out. There is some energy like that here. It's going to lead to an ending. And I'm very sorry. Don't let your past hold you back. Go to my first message. What is hidden from you? If this is your story, Taurus. The only reason I like this 10 is because there is no 11 in the tarot. This breaks down to the Ace of Swords, which is that, you know, the Neptune energy here of the clouds being totally clear change of direction page of pentacles now you know we went from the king to a knight to a page now this is this is again an earth sign this is somebody who's going to come towards you with a little pentacle i know it's a small pentacle you want the whole big thing okay but the other person wasn't giving that to you either i don't know if you're going to change directions and go towards somebody where it may seem to be a very small offer but i promise you it has the potential to grow to something really, really big. Now, when the pages come out, they're usually a different way of doing things. They're usually messengers. There's a message of good health, a small financial opportunity coming your way. I think somebody is coming towards you who's very diligent and very stable, but they may come as a page. You have free will whether you want to accept them or no. But this pentacle does have the potential to grow. Okay? But you have to trust your intuition of whether you're going to allow them to come in or no. But this is there for you. This could be somebody who is not as uh, well, you know, monetarily as you would like them to be. But this is for love, yeah. So if their heart is in the right place, think about it, Taurus. But there's somebody here who's confusing you. So you are being asked to release that. Let me ask for your second message now for my Kipper deck, okay? Your second general love message. This is for Taurus. Taurus, please, for Come on, Kippa. Give me some more messages for Taurus. Your second love message, Taurus. Let's see what Kipper has to give you. Okay? Okay. There's something going on with the divine masculine here. I mean, it's unbelievable. One more path, please, Spirit. Thank you. Now, you know, the main person. It's a, I'm talking to a divine masculine. Look, if you are a divine feminine, this could be the your sweetheart. But I I know I usually say don't go by the sex of the cards. But hey, you know what? The divine masculine came out in both the decks, in this deck and in this deck. So I mean, there is a lot of masculine energy here. There is a lot of masculine energy here. Now I have the number thirty six. This is longing, you know, a, to go a, a distant horizons and longing 
for to go abroad, something like that. I'm sorry, this is my keeper deck. So, uh, and my French keeper, I mean, pardon my French. I don't even know how to speak French. I learned it in school. So this is a number 36. If this number means anything to you. Now, this is a card of yearning to go abroad. Okay, hope and big waters. Sagittarius. Now, when the word water comes in, it's again ruled by Neptune. There's a lot of Pisces energy here. This is your Sagittarius card. We're dealing with a Sagittarius. Now, this is about a situation that changes very quickly. It's almost like a dream turned into a nightmare situation here for a divine masculine. Now, it also talks about the anchor which keeps you stuck and then the ship flying through the air. Something is going to help you fly through the air. I don't know what this is talking about, but you felt stuck at some point. You felt stuck. It also, you know, in the romantic context, and we're only talking about love here today, it signals the arrival or you flying or them flying to you of a soulmate, a connection, you know, a connection. I mean, which is divine. This card is of the soulmate. And, and, and I feel that somebody here was stuck and they were yearning. I don't know what you, you, you perhaps felt that there is somebody, but you felt them at a distance from you and you were stuck and you were not able to move and where you were turned into a nightmare situation for you, Taurus. And I'm so sorry to say that. Then you have a long way. This is a card of Capricorn. You have Capricorn, you have Sagittarius in this bunch so far of cards. It's been a very long way. It's like being on a marathon, no sprint. You've been patient, you've been diligent. Uh, you know, all the earth qualities of working hard, putting in the work. But it's taken a long, I mean, a long time, man, a long time. And you feel like, my goodness. Like I said, somebody here felt stuck. You are encouraged to be more patient, God, if that is ever possible, and more persistent. But also, if this is for a relationship, this talks about loyalty. This person, whoever is flying to you or you are flying to them, there is the potential for long term in this. Don't be fooled by this. There's some energy where you feel that it's something is not, but don't. This relationship can go the long way. But as you can see, there are butterflies here. It's about death and transformation. And that came out in the first bunch of cards. Your first message board is hidden from you. If some of you are worried about the life of a relationship, it, it has a potential to be long and stable. I want you to believe that. But at the card of community, this is very weird to be here, especially in this bunch. Now, I don't know if you're worried about how it's going to look in the community. I don't know what it is about the community. Or you're worried that you already have a child or they have a child. And But I want to tell you that the community is going to accept this child. I don't know why I feel this. That somebody is worried about a relationship of how it's going to look to others. You know, the visuals. And the community card tells me that you have a loving community around you, supporting you. I want you to believe that. I'm going to clarify these cards. What is this main person about, please, for Taurus? What is this horizons card for Taurus? Okay. What is this alone journey, please, for Taurus? That's the card. Wow. What is this card of community for Taurus? Please, for it. It's for love. Okay. The main person is a five of swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. My God. Somebody's going through some kind of a fight here. I don't know if they're dealing with somebody childish who loves to fight. This is somebody who wants to argue to win. You could be dealing with somebody who has... Could be a lawyer. Are you are you in some kind of a legal battle where you feel constantly attacked? You're dealing with somebody very childish who wants to win at all costs. You are in some kind of a battle here, Taurus. You're dealing with somebody who has, you know, who's good at words. Maybe they're a lawyer themselves. Debater. So look at this person. They want to just fight. Five is a number of imbalance. And this other person is like, I don't even want to fight anymore. You're dealing with somebody like that. I don't like this energy in a love relationship. It's terrible. Everything is a battle. Love is a battlefield and not in a good way. I mean, there is no makeup sex here. You know what I mean? It's just fights. Stupid, silly, irritating, childish fights. With this card of the distant horizons, okay? I have the King of Wands. King of Wands. Now, I think this has come up for the second time, if I'm not mistaken. 
Because I think we had the King of Wands here as well, didn't we? There is some fire energy around you, for sure. Now, yeah, King of Wands has come out twice. You are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. And this individual is very arrogant. I don't know if this person kept you stuck. You know, or gave you a lot of sex and passion. But it was a dream at one point. It turned into a nightmare. <clears throat> I don't know if they have a lot of ego. This is somebody who's a very good speaker, a politician, charismatic, passionate, hot, driven, sexy, lusty. That's the problem. Somebody who holds that wand and runs with it. But if this is your soulmate, this could be somebody who's coming towards you. A Sagittarius. I feel this. They could be at a distant, distance from you. I don't know which one you're resonating with. There is somebody who's fighting here though with you. That's not this energy I feel. I think this is a soulmate who's coming towards you. And this long route, you thought this was your wish fulfillment as a card of Aquarius? This talks about social media. I wonder if your soulmate is at a distance from you. And I don't know what you're fighting. Are you fighting your own fears and your insecurities? You waited for a long time for this to come to you. This person is at a distance from this. Something about distance or going over land or water. This is your wish fulfillment, yeah. Aquarius is about hope. It's about healing. It's about dreams coming true, wishing upon a star. This person is what you dream of. It's your dream lover, your dream, your dream love, your soulmate. But they're at a distance from you. Are you communicating with somebody online? I want to put this out there. Now, your community is keeping you stuck. Is this some kind of a taboo love? Set yourself free, please. Okay? The people who love you will love you anyways. Don't let the community keep you stuck. There's something about a community and a child. Are you stuck? Are you keeping yourself imprisoned because of that? And you're going through a lot of fights? Perhaps with, you know, your ex, there's some energy like that. Don't be stuck, please. This is a prison of your own thoughts. And swords is all mental energy, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, where you're just going round and round that same negative, you know, mountain of crap and thoughts. Don't be stuck. And if, if somebody in the community is putting pressure on you and keeping you stuck, break free. Also, if there's a child, do not worry. Somebody here has stayed stuck in a situation where they are not happy because they are afraid of how it's going to look, the aesthetics. But what about your life, Taurus? Please break free from this. You do not have to be in a mental prison. All right. Now, let's move and shift gears. And I'm going to take some cards from my Mystic Red Rose Oracle okay. deck and give you another love message. Okay. Let's see what this deck has to give you. My Taurus, please, spirit. Will not believe it. Positive mindset, manifest gratitude. This is, I, I love this for you. You know, I'm telling you, there is going to be some little offer coming your way in the time, in, in, in a small offer. Okay. A page of pentacles, perhaps. You have this. You have this potential. You have this potential to create this abundance with this individual. Don't be fooled by that small offer. You know, this is coming for you. Paradise, happiness, joy, honeymoon phase. You are starting a new relationship very soon for the ones who are in a breakup or who are going through something legal. There is something brand in you. Maybe you can take a vacation. There's something about travel. You're not, you're not with this person right now, Taurus. There are a distance from you. Love call, expressing love, messages, informing you. You know this word, informing you? When somebody's far away from you, they always message you, right? You know, I just reached home. I just had my lunch. You know how it is, you know? You talk to them on Skype, whatever, Zoom. I don't know. I'm having my lunch, baby. What are you doing? It's that kind of a relation. Some of you are in a long distance relationship. Perhaps you've come off from a big breakup. I rest my case, soulmate. There is a soulmate available to you, but they're at a distance. Some of you are keeping yourself stuck and not moving towards them. Why? Do not let the community or anybody else pressure you. And your children are taken care of. And the person who's supposed to love you will love you with whatever baggage you have. Especially if it's a child. Don't be worried about that. Soul connection, partnership, soul contract. 
life partner. I love this. Now, I'll take some cards from another deck, okay? To give you some more messages for love. And then I'll take my oracle cards for you, Taurus. Let's go. It's for Taurus, please, spirit. It's for Taurus. For love. Taurus, for love. Taurus, for love. Okay. I don't react when people mention you. Somebody's broken up here. I wish I could take back my words. Somebody spoke words in arrogance and anger. Well, they're repenting. I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, Taurus, you are a lot of earth. You are earth energy. You're about the money, about pentacles. You rule by Venus. All the things of luxury, you know, beauty that we're meant to enjoy in this, this life of, you know, this 3D existence. You love that. Maybe you're putting yourself in your work to forget something, something very painful. I hid who I really was from you. Be authentic. This person was not themselves. They were lying to you. These cards. I don't react when people mention you, Taurus. I wish I could talk back my words. Okay. I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay. I hid who I really was from you. So, oh my God. Okay. Now, I don't react when people mention you. I have the emperor. Aries. A lot of ego. This could be a father. Somebody who's very arrogant. AF. They like to boss. Bossy. Controlling. Demanding. They can give you all the money. All the sex you need. But no love. No love. It's about their way or the highway. I don't know who this person is. They have a lot of ego, man. I wish I could take back my words. Ace of Pentacles. When the Ace of Pentacles comes out, it's about stability. Again, it's your energy, Earth. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's about creating money on steroids, stability, home, business. This is a marriage, and there are a lot of words spoken here in anger, that Five of Swords energy, anger, you know, betrayal, hatred. This isn't a committed partnership. I bury myself in work to forget you, Ace of Cups. Somebody here believes that they have lost their Ace of Cups, which is a relationship of a lifetime where the emotions are so full. It's water energy. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Somebody's also cried a lot of tears or they're crying a lot of tears and they're burying themselves in work. And I'm going to see this big cup with water. I hope they're not drinking themselves. Just putting this out there. Somebody is crying today. They, this breakup has affected them and it's their fault. They have been controlling and rude. I hid who I really was from you, Queen of Swords. This is somebody who's very bitter, angry, jealous. This is all the lower vibration of this energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody's going through legalities. Yeah, I want you to know that too. Somebody has used their words as a weapon. Somebody has been rude, cold, mean, cold, cold. I mean, I don't even know if the sex was that passionate. It could have been somebody who's very cold and they've used their words to cut somebody. This is also the truth. Somebody has hidden the truth from you. I don't know what that is. You'll have to tell me. Comment below, let me know. There's somebody who could be a divorcee, a single mother. The high vibration of this is somebody who's fair and just. The low vibration is somebody who's off the nuts, I'm off the nuts, off the charts, nuts, crazy, bipolar, Clingy, angry, vindictive. This is not a good energy. I hope you're letting this individual, you know, exit your beautiful vibration. Now, I'm going to end this reading by taking some oracle cards for you. This has yes or no questions, okay? Ask, pause the reading. Let's see if I can give you a yes or no answer, all right? My Taurus in love, please. Taurus in love. Taurus in love. Taurus in love. Okay, now reconsider. Somebody could be coming back to you, huh? With an apology. Okay, and this could be happening in the near future. No, this is my timing card. That means something is very close to, it's eminent. They may come to you wanting you to, I don't know if you're going through something legal, Taurus in love. I don't know why I feel that. I'm just putting this out there. Now, Please communicate clearly exactly what you want and what you don't. Don't allow this person to manipulate you. Communicate clearly. We should. Don't allow it to be blocked. 
Queen of Swords energy, somebody who communicates clearly. Channel the higher vibration of that. Recovery. And, you know, as you can see, there is a lot of light on her. Shahasara, her crown. Peace is going to be restored in your life. Some of you have not had mental peace, Taurus. I don't know who you're dealing with, some fighter cock, somebody who just wants to argue, fight and control. It's This energy is driving me nuts. I want you to know that there's going to be a recovery, a replenishment of your peace and your mental health. Just remember, go back to my first message. Don't let pride hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back and don't let your fears hold you back. Release what you don't need to. Speak up for once. There is a soulmate here. There is a soulmate. Go back and watch all the readings that I've done. All the, sorry, all the different portions for love I've done. There is a soulmate there for you. But they could be at a distance. So these were all the messages I have for you for love. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. Like, subscribe. Share this with somebody who may need it. That's all I ask. These were your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Cannot wait to come back again. Do another reading. Until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I loved you. Namaste. Bye, Taurus.